What is up everybody, Joe Everest, the fence expert. And while we're here at FinSec 2023 in OKC, I was walking by the Unlimited Sports Solutions booth and I saw you giving a demonstration on this padding. I think you guys would love to see this and hear a little bit about what this is about. So if you don't mind, we have padding. I mean, I'm a fence guy, but I do know yep. this is padding. You got it. What? But it's something a little bit different too. There's you something magical it. about it. Yeah, so I, we consider ourselves the sports safety experts. Uh, however, the fence industry is a great extension of our installation arm. Most of what we do ties into, goes on top of, or runs in proximity to the fence, the beautiful fencing that our fence professionals just installed. Yeah. Padding is the prime example. It attaches directly to the fence. It is super easy to install. A lot of fence professionals are scared of it because they don't know anything about padding. So right. we've been here talking with the professionals about really how easy the the padding is to install and sure. add to uh sales well and you guys if you watch the channel you know that we're re we've been doing some work at the springfield cardinals ballpark that has padding we've had that conversation yeah. and that was my answer was we don't do padding i know who i can recommend you to that who does do padding but we're your fence guys we're not really your padding guys yep. what yeah. i'm learning is we could actually probably be both you got it, Ted. Super easy. Show us how this works. This yeah. is an interesting process. So, so what this is here, this is just kind of a mock-up of what our standard backstop is. You know, we got our start as a netting company. However, yeah. padding is a big portion of what we do. Okay. So we've got a, a lot of different padding options. This particular is an example of a wallless padded backstop wall. Okay. And we've designed this to integrate with our netting backstop system. Yeah. And it is a super easy install. This is the part I saw. Yep. I was, this seems a lot like magic to me. It does, but it, it really doesn't get a whole lot easier. Here's your standard two and a half inch fence posts. Yep. We yep. run a cable. Okay. Uh, we've got our proprietary track system here that straps to the posts. With our trade show model, I don't exactly have, sure. the, have the straps to show you. But it would have an attached but one yep, here. Yep, you just attach it here. Okay. And then here's here's how easy the install goes. Okay. You've got the track up. Yep. And you stage the pads and you open. You guys actually, we talked a little bit before this video, you actually produce the padding as well. We do. Not just the installation system. We, we do. Right outside, uh, we have our own dedicated pad shop facility. We only use the finest of materials to produce our pads. Sure. Uh, each of our outdoor exterior wall pads are backed with uh, three quarter inch treated uh, wood. Okay. Three inch high impact foam. So what you see here wrapped in this vinyl, you got the wood backing, three inches of foam, and then we use a all weather uh, vinyl that wraps okay. in. And the great thing is uh, for branding guys like ourselves, yeah, uh, very easily customizable to put a school on there, an advertiser on, okay. just add some character and the wow factor to we your athletic facility. We can customize it to the client. You got it, you got it. If so. I know clients, they yep. like it when things they are do. customized to yep. them. Can you ballpark <laughs> for me? about how long an installation takes on maybe a, I know standards are weird word, yep. but on a, maybe a standard backstop, so, is there a timeline? So what you see there, there are many different uh, ways for pads to attach to a backstop. Okay. You've got our chain link, which I'll show you here in a second. Yes. You've got a brick wall, you've got block wall, you have wood walls, yep. and you have a, a wall list like, like okay. this system. Yeah. So this system may take a, just a little bit more because you got to get the posts in and, okay. and the rails and the systems like that. Sure. If you've got an existing wall like chain link or, or CMU, you can literally install pads uh, about a pad every five minutes to be honest wow. with you. Okay. So okay. that's kind of the calculation we use on, on an existing wall. Sure, so, absolutely, yep. a pad yep. every five So minutes. if you think about that, each pad's four foot long, you know your average backstop goes 90 to 120. So okay. you have 20 to 30 pads per wall. You can knock that out and get really good at it a half day to, yeah. to a day yeah. and, uh, and, and really crush it. So. so guys, what I'm hearing is if you've got, if you're already working with sports stadiums, you're already doing the netting or the chain link, which we're getting ready to look at, then this is an easy add on that you could add. plan on taking an extra day, mm -hmm. come out, put the finishing touches on it. You might be done in half a day. Could really add some value to 
your bottom line, mm -hmm. but also add a lot of value to the client as well. Yes, that's, that's a great point, and you alluded to it at the start. A lot of people pass on the padding because they're like, I don't know anything about the padding. Yeah. So on the fence, you might have eight to 10 competitors you're bidding against. Yeah. Well, if you can add the padding that maybe only one or two people are, are willing to do, yeah. you just brought a lot of value to your customer. And you just, as we say, we say penetrate the sale. You sure. just you just got the fence and now, hey, you know, I can do the netting, maybe the foul poles, uh, or I just want the padding that attaches to my fence. Well, you just added, uh, you know, another 20% or whatever to the final sale. Absolutely, so it definitely helps your bottom line. One thing I'm thinking too is, a lot of contractors we deal with want to minimize the number of contractors you they deal it. with. You so you could it. also probably stand out in the fact that, hey, I can take the two contractors you're going to deal with combine them into myself, and now we've only got one invoice, one point of contact. That's, that's our magic sauce, right? Okay. There, okay. Is, is if you can bring that value to a GC, guess what? Your fence number's probably not scrutinized as much, sure. as, much as it was because I just went from two to maybe four subs to do all this stuff down to one. Down to maybe one. One. And so that brings value to that GC. But at the same time, it's a win-win. Absolutely. Right? It's a win from the customer. It's a win for us because we increase our revenue. We've we found it. another revenue stream. Also probably increase our bottom line at the same time. 100%. Everybody walks away happy. Yep. That's, that, yep. Those are the situations That's the magic like. sauce right there. Right. Yep. Let's look at this chain link. If, yeah. if you guys watch the channel, you know I'm a pretty big fan of chain link. This looks really interesting to me, how this attaches. So, so we brought this specifically here for our friends in, uh, in the fence industry. Because uh, again, back to how, how uh, Joe started this out, a lot of people say, I don't touch the padding, I, yeah. I don't know anything about Guilty. it. Yeah. We brought this specifically here just to show how easy it is. So you just built this beautiful chain link fence. You got the place secure, looking good. Well the padding that's going to attach to it. This is really how easy it is. <laughs> see, see our attachment hardware. There's five of these that are, that are shaped perfectly for the diamond of, of the chain link fabric. Yeah. You got five screws. So you got one guy holding the pad, one guy zipping the screws. You can knock those out. If you got really good and you have things staged well, you can put up a pad about every one to two minutes. Even so, better. So yeah, that's 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 an hour of work uh, for <laughs> sure for thirty pads for so, for, for a typical uh, backstop. Yeah, yep. You and got it looks it. like these are adjustable. Yep. So yep. something happens, they need adjusted a little bit. It's yep. as easy as loosening one of these, maybe. Yep. Straightening. You got it. Or... You got it. Uh, it uh, it's just an inch and a quarter lag bolt that slides okay. in there and okay. uh, screws in there, and, and you go. But we do feel uh, that our attachment, it provides a nice clean look. There's a lot of uh, other ways to attach pads to chain link, sure. but uh, to the best of my knowledge, uh, this is uh, exclusive to us. Well, it's a one, and, it's uh, a one tool installation. Yep, you got it. Yeah, it, it's, you just figure out whether it's an impact or a screw gun or whatever, one tool to drive this and you're done. Doesn't get a lot easier than that, Each, I think. Uh, so, you're, you know, your standard backstops uh, range anywhere from two foot to four foot. Okay. So, so okay. this is a three foot pad, weighs about 25, 30 pounds. So one guy, again, holding it, the other guy go. Working uh, from the ground. A, a two man crew is gonna crush it. I like this a lot, so, I like this a lot. Yeah. We've got one more thing because I'm oh, interested yep. in talking. So we look, we saw a no backstop or no wall. Yep. We saw a chain link. Now I see padding combined with the netting here. What do we have going on here? You got it. This is our mini dugout lean rail. In college level professional sports, dugout lean rails have been, been popular for years. Well, now that has gone down to the high school level, even yep. the youth level, you're yep. seeing it. Where this has really grown for us is the fact that even the NCA is requiring that colleges pad their lean rails. Really? So you want to talk an easy installation, maybe a little more hard, complicated than that, but okay. still, again, doesn't get much easier. Okay. Straps and L brackets and you're good to go. So this okay. flat pad to cover the mid rail and then on the corner posts, uh, we do what uh, we call an L pad. Okay. And then up top, we got our U pad that fully encloses. Sits on and, top. Yep. Again, it looks like a one tool installation. 
Uh, you are correct. Other than depending on uh, the the netting, there's a variety okay. of ways to install okay. the netting. That's fair. You might, yep, you might. Uh, you're going to need a drill and some wrenches to uh, okay. run a top cable and a bottom cable to sure. attach the the netting to. But again, the netting uh, is is a very similar. A lot more friendly to stretch this netting than uh, as I know you guys know <laughs> with the chain <laughs> link. So, link. so it, but Absolutely. it's a nice, clean, great look to it, and uh, yeah. So guys, if, if you guys are used to dealing with sport courts, baseball fields, softball fields, that sort of thing, if you already have that work in your back pocket, it seems like you could really add some options to the client that helps them out you while also helping your bottom line, providing a high quality product from an American made source. You got it. I don't think you could get much closer to a perfect win on that one. Nope, nope. Uh, again, appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much for having me out. Hey, uh, thank for you. more information, how can people get in touch? Yeah, with you guys? so you can you can find us at unlimitedsportsolutions.com. Uh, you can find us on our social media, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, if you go through our website, there is a contact us page, so you can contact Perfect. us there. So, very good, very good, guys. Like I said, if you're into chain link fencing at all or sports courts in general. Check out Unlimited Sports Solutions. I know we now will add this as a tool in our toolbox to awesome. increase our revenue and give our customers extra value. Appreciate it, Joe. For now, I'm Joe Evers, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors. And I'll see you next time.